Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a gigantic cumulative thrift outlet haul to bring you guys. As always, I went back to my two favorite stores here in Houston, both the Goodwill Outlet where I pay $2.19 per pound, as well as the Family Thrift Center Outlet where I pay $2 per item. So I think I have uh, a little bit larger of a haul this time than I typically do. It's around 75 items and this is cumulative like I said so it's probably about four or five thrift trips. I probably paid right around $150 for everything and without further ado let's go ahead and just get into it. As always I will start off with shoes, accessories, and then just get into clothing. So our first pair of shoes are these heeled sandals they're like a caged upper genuine suede these are by the brand coconuts by matisse which is sometimes sold at free people it's a pretty nice quality brand it's not um, crazy expensive these probably retail for around a hundred dollars i will definitely pick it up at the bins which is where i grabbed these as long as it doesn't look like they have too much wear. I always look at this sole to make sure that, you know, it's still going relatively strong. Okay, next up we have Steve Madden. These are very cute. Genuine calf hair upper pointed toe loafers. These are a really nice everyday kind of shoe with some added interest because of the leopard you have a little pop there the style name is the feather shoes they're a size five and a half cow hair upper and man-made sole last pair of shoes are cole Haan grand os and they are a heeled they're a heel <laughs> they have once again a pointed toe and then this gold logo hardware they zip in back really nice i mainly got these because they were in really good shape and these probably retail for around 150 to 200 dollars that's the bottom sole it's genuine leather size 11 which is also an excellent size kind of harder to find one belt this kind of matches the steve madden shoes it is also uh, cow hair yeah upper dyed calf filler bonded leather backing polyurethane so I actually own this belt myself and I love it it's a really nice pop I'll wear like an all black outfit and then just you know the skinny leopard belt I did get one home item just because I thought this was the coolest thing I've ever seen it was at the bins it's a very southwestern print uh table runner i believe it is a table runner and not only is it the coolest thing ever like style wise it also is really high quality so this is the only tag and it says 100 percent wool hand woven in mexico i'm not sure what i will list this for maybe around 40 or 50 dollars just because it is so cool it's in excellent condition and it's super high quality next we have one scarf you guys know how i love scarves i thought this was super cute it's like a patchwork leather with a neutral color scheme and then frayed edges really cool it's very soft and it's like a really nice kind of like gauzy material this is more of a like kimono type piece. It, ha it does have armholes and it's like a paisley, kind of like an abstract paisley print. Very oversized and slouchy. I love grabbing these types of things at the bins because they are super lightweight and don't cost me much people will bundle them and that will basically just bump up the bundle price a little bit you know it all works out that way i can give like discounted shipping and still make a pretty good profit we have one children's item i thought this was precious it is by the brand matilda jane 
which is on the list of kids brands that I will buy. This is a better look at the tag. I have sold Matilda Jane kids stuff for like $30 before. It's very expensive retail. This dress probably won't command that high of a price. I would say like 22-ish maybe, 25, 10, 12 years old. But it was a wool blend and it's like a pointel kind of knit. So I had to get that. We have a little bralette here. This is by Free People One. It's like a lace crochet, strappy back. I really like the Free People One sub brand. Um, it's a lot of like incredibly boho items with like gauzy fabrics and lots of fraying. And so, yeah, I was excited to find that. Okay, getting into clothing now. Our first two pieces actually have flaws, so I did separate them out a little bit just because I need to work on them. Or I should say, I I need to ask my Mimi to help me out with them. She's my seamstress before I can list them. This first one is an Umji blouse and it has slits at the sleeve. The body has this like pieced together floral print. So I could not leave this. I did see the flaw at the bins, but it doesn't look like it will be that big of a deal. It's just the little snap needs a stitch on one side. So um, yeah, not too bad, size medium. And then the second and last flawed item is this new with tags dress from Who What Wear, which is originally sold at Target. It was originally $35 at Target. Even though it's just, you know, not a super expensive brand or anything, it's just Target, I loved this dress. It has like a tiger print to it in um, a really nice kind of earth tone color palette. The sleeves are precious. The waist tie is still attached, even though the flaw is that the belt loop has come unattached on one side. So I think that should be a pretty quick fix. This also is a linen blend. I mean, this dress feels like it could be like Reformation or something. It feels so high quality. Love the color palette. Love the print. Alrighty, moving into non-flawed clothing as far as I know. So this, I saw a woman just kind of, they yelled go, so at the bins, if you're unfamiliar, they roll out all the bins and everyone kind of lines up around the bins, like the perimeter of the bins is just full of people waiting for the Goodwill employees to yell go. Once they yell go, basically when all the bins are in place, They'll yell go and people just scramble. I mean, you'll hear sometimes like glass breaking, pots and pans being thrown around, clothes going everywhere because people are trying to get the items as quickly as possible. So I saw a woman just throwing clothes in the air and I saw embroidery from this jacket underneath it was just kind of sitting towards the bottom of the bin just sitting there underneath what she was like throwing in the air so i ran over snatched it up i thought it might be johnny was the brand is paparazzi it's a size large honestly that's fine that you know it's not johnny this is still an incredible piece i mean the quality on this jacket is amazing it's so pretty. The base is like an olive green color. It's long line. It has a three button closure, I believe. Yeah, three buttons. It has pockets. And I mean, this is just incredible. This is definitely one of my favorite bins finds in a while. It says, where there is love, there is life <laughs> embroidered on the inside, fully lined. So yeah, gorgeous piece there. Another kind of fun, unique bins pickup. I believe this was handmade. I mainly got it because I really like the colors to it. It's a like yarn vest. It buttons down in front, four buttons. I did model that for the listing. This is another one of my absolute favorite bins pickups. It's just Umji, which is like a boutique brand, but it's a size large. It's a linen blend 
and it, I, once again this feels so high quality to me it almost when I first saw it in the bin I thought it might be Magnolia Pearl and I was like frantically searching for the brand name but I mean honestly it is very very cool frayed edges so super happy with that piece as well next we have Zara woman size small this is a little off shoulder elastic ruffle kind of crop top with a contrasting white stitching i once again modeled this for the listing if i have time i will model items that you can't really get the full gist of like how they fit or how you could style them just from them hanging on the hanger so i firmly believe that the best way to get something to sell faster is to give the potential buyers a better idea of how it would look like on how you could style it and make it seem just very wearable <laughs> that's my kind of two cents on marketing your items okay next up i did have all this stuff steamed at one time sorry guys this brand i had never heard of calligraphy but i saw that it was a size extra large and it also is it's either 100 percent linen or a linen blend as well as you guys know I love this color it's also like a very contemporary boxy kind of cut to it it's 55% linen 45% cotton so all natural materials next up speaking of natural materials we have a 100% cashmere calypso st. Barth size medium pointel knit cardigan it's like a cream color really pretty I grab pretty much anything 100% cashmere and this brand is actually really expensive retail that cardigan was probably 200 250 dollars this was a style based pickup loved the color it's also a shacket which shackets in any type of style print colorway they have literally just been flying out of my closet i think every jacket i have been listing if you're unfamiliar that's basically just a shirt jacket <laughs> and the keyword is literally jacket but every single one that i've listed recently has sold same day so with the rust color oversized fit and texture i had to get this one it is a size extra large the brand is just power play and that is the back okay more linen these are a linen blend pants i think these were sold at francesca's originally which i really don't ever buy francesca stuff but mainly because the quality doesn't really seem to be there but with these being a linen cotton blend that seemed a little bit nicer to me they button up have a tie at the waist they definitely have that like paper bag waist which is a keyword that people do search out the brand is Harper size medium just a bread and butter tried and true free people waffle knit long sleeve this is like the starts with a k i have sold this many many times it's like the karina thermal or something like that it does have exposed seams and it's a size extra small this is another really exciting find i've always wanted to find this brand it's tasha polizzi i might be saying that incorrectly but that's what it looks like to me it's a size large 100 percent cotton so cute it's like this boho southwestern kind of like navajo dress it does have a tie at the neckline with tassels once again we have that just kind of airy gauzy feel to the cotton that was in excellent condition lane bryant i have been picking up more lane bryant especially if it is a more substantial piece which this definitely is the tag says premium italian yarn it's a size 1820 so what makes this so substantial first off is the cut it's a long line cardigan with a fun kind of boho stripe to it uh, stripe print 
and is also 30% wool. So you have a lot happening here. Okay, moving on, we have a piece from Madewell that seems to sell really well based on comps. I have mentioned it several times recently, but I have definitely gotten pickier with Madewell. However, this dress in particular, the comps are really good. And what I mean by that is the ones that are listed are listed very high, like $50 to $80, and there's only like four. And then the sold comps are close to that price. So it looks like this dress um, is a little bit more sought after, a little bit harder to find, and it's just not, it's not saturated on the secondhand market. So we always love seeing that. And I actually think that I didn't see any other size large listed, which is, that makes it even better. Next we have a little graphic sweatshirt, just the Beatles. It has like a wide neckline. Once again, mustard yellow. I love anything with a band, popular band print, especially in like a cozy style, I will 100% grab and just a t-shirt style, honestly. And Taylor Loft size medium, which I for sure do not always get, but I did pick up this because it is a, in a poncho style, which ponchos um, similar to shackets uh, fly out of my closet. I think people just like really like slouchy oversized stuff that you know, is comfortable, but also really cute to wear. I think this might also be, yeah, it's 5% wool. So it is really soft and nice, and it does have some extra warmth there. This is, this is kind of an out of the box pickup for me. So it is a men's fishing vest or yeah, fly fishing vest. It's by the brand Orvis, which was originally why I gravitated towards it because I know that Orvis is a very reputable brand and I just did a quick Google search at the bins. Looks like that might sell for $30 to $50 so I'm super excited to try that out in my men's closet. I've been loving kind of experimenting over there. Eileen Fisher size extra large. This is uh, going to be kind of hard to hold up. Okay, here's the arm. It's like a cropped cardigan with a very large lapel, but it's not like a hoodie. It's just a large uh, like collar portion. So I hope you kind of can get an idea. It's like a speckled knit. And I did get this because it was a wool silk blend. Next up, we have a cachet dress, which cachet will probably always have a, a piece of my heart because my prom dress was by this brand before it closed down. It's no longer in business, but people do still search out this brand because it was very high quality and it's a name that a lot of people know. And you know, with them being closed down, you can't go to the retail store and buy. So, you know, if you like, their stuff, you have to turn to the secondhand market. So this is the, uh, it's like an embellishment at the chest. It's a crushed velvet wine colored maxi gown dress. Really pretty. It does have a side slit. And yeah, I just thought this would be nice for a formal event. There is no closure behind the neck. It's just kind of sewn shut. So had to get that. This was pretty much purely a material based grab. It's 50% mohair wool and 50% acrylic. So it's that really nice kind of luxurious fuzzy feeling fabric due to the mohair. Also baby pink I feel like has been a pretty trendy color. It's like an oversized fit. So how cute would this be with just like black leggings and black knee-high boots. Next we have Cynthia Rally, which I for sure do not, not grab everything in this brand, but this was 100% linen, size large, and a really nice color and cut. It's like a light green and also 
like a minimalist contemporary kind of cut it's high low this would be great for like a capsule wardrobe as your kind of like fun pop of color um, natural material shirt umgy size extra large this was another bins grab I thought this would be an easy like $25 flip um, I do get super cute umgy stuff it's like strappy at the shoulders long line with this jagged hem and it is all a waffle knit texture another excellent bins pickup we have new with tags loft lounge size large this dress is so soft it has a fleece lining i'm not sure yeah you can see it's like the softest material on the inside and the outside it is their signature soft material it originally retailed for $60 we have more umg here size 1xl yellow button down blouse with rolled sleeves and a frayed hemline this haul I feel like was just really fun I I really like each and every piece that I picked up sometimes I will get stuff just because I know that it's really sellable but I feel like all of these items I personally just really really like okay so this I thought this was clear these were clearly all donated by one person and I thought I could just make a nice bundle out of them so there are three turtleneck pieces this first one is sleeveless and it's a ribbed material the, that one's express brand this is also express same kind of thing but it does have a cutout at the chest they're the same size they're all size small and last one is just a plain black turtleneck super soft very very soft material i think it's a modal blend the brand on this one is 14th and union which is a nordstrom brand so i'll probably bundle those for like 25 dollars if someone really likes turtlenecks next up moving on to our second ikea bag really liked this find the brand is pandemonium it's 100 percent wool so this thing will keep you warm it's this striped cardigan sweater it's like a sweater coat almost with a fold over um, lapel and fringe trim I did try this on once again for the listing just because I wanted people to see just how cute it is on Savannah Jane 1x I hadn't heard of this brand um, definitely got it based on style and size beautiful embroidery all throughout and once again this embroidery feels really high quality I love the bell sleeve so this should sell really well next we have an American Eagle jumpsuit size small I got this because it's a jumpsuit mainly which rompers and jumpsuits sell great for me this is the older tag so if it were like a mini dress I would have left it behind but I think this is super cute very boho with the print and it does have a defined waist so it's a little bit more flattering I hadn't heard of this brand Lindy Bop I just did a quick Google search um, at the bins and it looks like this is kind of like a pinup retro style like rockabilly brand and the skirt is no exception with that style I loved the bird novelty print I've mentioned it a million times but novelty prints do very well and um, I will add all the keywords that I was just mentioning into that listing pinup rockabilly retro free people it's not a haul if you don't have some free people really pretty feminine it's like a tunic top more embroidery and some lace details it's like a swiss dot throughout the body of the blouse and then at the back the embroidery 
continues. So really pretty. American Eagle, this kind of stuff, same kind of thing as the shackets and ponchos has been flying for me, selling so quickly. Just anything athleisure style that you can lounge in. And then when you're ready to run some errands, you just throw leggings on. Um, that kind of stuff has been selling so well. And this, um, I would have gotten this if it were just like a plain colored, like green sweatshirt. But this is even cooler with this really fun swirl tie dye. This is the back and it's the jegging fit size extra small okay another brand that i don't normally get maurice's but this was a size 3x had a very cozy interior and just a really fun style to it it's like a cowl neck with these knit sleeves and then a tulip bottom hem it's also long line and it was in really good shape size 3x so i had to get this i think that's a really nice plus size piece i think i'm going to start doing plus size bundles because i find a lot of plus size and it's they're not really super substantial pieces but i think if i bundled them like three or four in a bundle and sell them for like 40 45 dollars each bundle i'm curious leave me a comment down below your thoughts on that um, that's an idea that i have been kind of thinking about recently okay next yet another brand that i hadn't heard of when i found this but i have since done a little bit of research and it looks like this is um, this was sold on revolve this piece and this brand is pretty expensive they do a lot of like coastal beachwear and this piece is no exception it's a tie-dye really breezy lightweight romper another really fun piece here i told you guys this haul is very fun and exciting so the vintage brand is bedford fair lifestyle size medium petite it's 100 percent cotton and it's this like southwestern print jacket and the Material is like a tapestry feel. It has a tapestry feel to it. The buttons also kind of look like like a concho style. So it has a lot happening, a lot of details, and I could not, absolutely could not leave that behind. Blue and gray in my favorite fabric ever. It, this is the signature soft fabric. And if you guys don't know, that's a keyword. It's all one word, Signature Soft. It is special to Lou and Gray. Basically, it's just 97% rayon, 3% spandex. So if you see that fabric makeup on anything Lou and Gray, you can add the keyword Signature Soft to the title and description, and it probably will sell a little bit better because people do search it out. It has This has drawstrings, high-low hem, and it is a hoodie. Another fun little grab here. I just saw this being tossed around in a bin. It's vintage Calvin Klein, junior size three. And this is like a corduroy material with a floral print. When the print is tiny like that, it's called a ditzy floral print. So I will add that once again as a keyword. I just thought this um, kind of chest region and button down looked really flattering and feminine. Next, I found a couple logo by Lori Goldstein pieces, which this brand sells super well for me in the larger sizes. So I will probably always pick it up as long as it's like a cute cut and fun print. Size 2X, a brush stroke kind of print in pastel colors. And the second one is a 2X, also, oh, this one has a shark bite hem, and I think, yeah, this one does have pockets. This is that stretch jersey knit, super soft, super comfortable, it's rayon spandex. Okay, next, I was really happy to see this on the rack, it's Nike. I don't know 
if this is vintage or not but it definitely has that look and feel to it it is a windbreaker jacket the body is like a teal color and then it has a contrasting floral and tan inserts and this logo on the sleeve is so cool so we'll see how this does i do need to do a little bit more research on it but i think it should sell pretty well just because it is very cool and unique it has the drawstrings and of course anything nike is a little bit more um, desirable in my opinion this was just new with tags at the bins so i had to get it it's oversized high low and i think this is plus size i stumbled into one person's donation uh pile and it was all really cute boutique plus size stuff so that's i mean that's me in heaven basically size extra large and it came originally from a boutique back road beauties boutique so yeah this should this should go i would say 28 to 32 ish more plus size skies are blue 3x and it does have straps but also sits at the shoulder it has elastic embroidery and this is that really nice kind of brushed cotton material it's like gauzy and lightweight and breathable all embroidered details really pretty i don't know if this was sold through stitch fix stitch fix does carry skies are blue but either way it's very cute that'll probably go 28 to 35 ish banana republic this is a vintage corduroy button down midi dress so i will add 90s y2k little chest pockets how cute would this be with like chunky sneakers for like a 90s look it's like a mossy greenish brown color okay next i you guys are gonna have to help me with these i have no idea if these are men's or women's because they look like men's to me but they do snap on the women's side so i think they are women's i'll list them in my women's closet they're vintage wrangler size large and i got them because they are wrangler and because i could tell they were a little bit older i really like the colorway um, and pearl snaps do pretty well. They're very popular. I will add rodeo into the um, description. This is the second one, also older, also size large. And this one is really cute. I love the colorway. And the pearl snaps are pink. It's like a baby pink. So how cute. Next we have another kind of kimono cardigan style type piece with a flowy sleeve open front long line very boho print solid seller for me the brand doesn't even matter as long as it's like cute and in good condition this is sandy and sid is that what that says yeah size large I hadn't heard of this brand, Vinti 6. I did just a quick search and it looks like the stuff, I don't think there were a whole lot of comps, but it does look like it's a pretty high quality brand. This is just 100% linen, kind of long line v-neck tee. So I thought it would just be a nice kind of basic for someone to bundle with. I love finding this brand, Bren Walker. Their linen stuff definitely does best. This is more of a stretch jersey knit dress. It's like a midi dress with pleating in the skirt region. So I think this will still do well. Probably not as well as the linen stuff, but that's okay. Still really cool. I will add lag and look, oversized, boho, 
keywords to that listing. This one's in the pile of cute uh, boho boutique stuff. I just thought it was fun with the contrasting stripes and oversized kind of fit slouchy look. I love tops like this in my personal wardrobe where you know they're comfy and cute to wear but they still make you look very put together. I got this mainly because well I guess for a lot of reasons. It's new at tags and it has a fun tie-dye print, distressed edges, and it's 100% cotton. So that's nice. Again, kind of that slouchy, oversized fit, size large. Lastly, for our second bag, we I usually only have two bags, but we have three IKEA bags to get through today. We have some more Free People, also size large. This cardigan sweater does have a little bit of pilling and wear to it, but I did still get it because it's not that noticeable and it kind of just goes with the look of the sweater. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it. And also, I mean, the fabric just kind of warrants that kind of fuzzy look. It is 27% wool, 5% Angora rabbit hair. Next up, we have a brand that I really like to sell, but I haven't found it in quite a while, J. McLaughlin. So this brand has a special type of fabric. It's called Catalina Cloth. It's specific to this brand. They did coin that name for it. And it's basically just a specific, specific fabric makeup that is really stretchy and nice. It almost feels like sweat wicking. This dress is not that fabric, which is fine. It's still a really pretty piece and it's a turtleneck, really nice classic navy sleeveless kind of sweater dress. But yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that Catalina cloth. Definitely include that in your title and description. That stuff sells so fast. This is cotton, modal, and spandex. So it's like a really nice, stretchy, kind of thicker knit. Next up, we have Vince. This is newer tag Vince. That was the kind of persuading factor for me to get this because it was the newer tag. It is a very basic uh, long sleeve t-shirt. But again, I thought it would just be a nice kind of closet staple. Torrid size 2x. I feel like I have a ton of plus size in this haul, which I'm really happy about. Open front cardigan with a crochet floral lace. Really pretty and boho. I will probably add stuff like cottage core, granny core, prairie, feminine. Just really pretty. I think that is 100% cotton. Yes. Another Beatles graphic piece. This is just a little t-shirt. This is like a burnout material. So very thin and stretchy, size medium, made well. This is an exciting find. It's pretty basic, but size extra, it's size extra large, which I don't often find in made well. And also it is, um, the comps for this also looked really good like that baby doll dress I showed earlier. There were several sold. I don't think there were actually any in just the plain black colorway currently listed. This is also a merino wool blend and it's from fall of 2019. Lou and Gray size small. I will pick this brand up if it is specifically the signature soft fabric or it has some other type of nice fabric to it. I got this because cardigans are like my best selling category. It has some detail to the knit to it. It's long line. It's like a draped front. Let me see what it's 20% wool and 7% alpaca. So I'm always definitely more persuaded to buy stuff with alpaca in it because some people will only wear alpaca. It's a very, very luxurious kind of fabric. Next we have Eileen Fisher, size extra large, 100% linen. So 
natural fabric as well really pretty so it's like a magenta red color long line cardigan if this were a size extra small i would have maybe been tempted to leave it behind just because eileen fisher will sit sometimes if there are not like a whole lot of things going for it so the fact that this is 100 percent linen it's size extra large it's long line all of those things um, kind of contribute to its marketability j crew i got these because they are very new and they are just kind of a classic throw on and go style of pant yeah these are from spring of 2021 so kind of crazy green color and they are called the slim boyfriend chino i like wearing pants like those with like a chambray shirt i think that's always kind of a cute look yet another quick bins pickup i got this mainly because it was new with tags it's a size extra large and the cut was really cute it has like a smocked uh design at the bottom hem as well as elastic at the wrists the brand is nine britain i hadn't heard of it i think this was originally like 45 dollars from stitch fix originally another style based pickup i believe this was once again in that stack of boutique style stuff that was just really cute Betsy's Boutique Shop in a size medium. This looks very slouchy and oversized. It's a cowl turtleneck. Let me see. Yeah, here we go. It's long line and it has side vents. Really cute. Okay, winding down to our final pieces here something navy i haven't sold this brand i don't think i've ever sold this brand i know that it was created by an instagram kind of blogger person um i'm not sure how the collection did i think it sold pretty well when it was closer to first released and now i think the buzz has kind of died down but i got this just because i thought it was super cute i really like the style to it with the kind of exaggerated sleeves and it also was a linen blend yeah 31 percent. it buttons down in front and then it has a side side zip so it seems like it was really well made more free people i've sold this in the past a long time ago a couple years ago it's something hussy top very oversized and slouchy but very very soft so it has like an open back with a twist at the mid back, very long line, super soft. And this looks like it was never worn, even though it's um, manufactured to have all this like fraying and distressing to it. This was also in that plus size boutique stack. It's called East Adeline, size one X, very soft, stretchy Jersey knit wrap maxi dress has a high low hem really pretty and very kind of wearable like i was mentioning earlier banana republic this is 100 percent alpaca the tag says extra fine alpaca it's a size large and like i was mentioning some people just love their alpaca pieces also as a cable knit which is a very classic style okay ending off with a couple torrid items we have 6x torrid is quickly becoming one of my favorite bread and butter brands just because it always sells and it sells pretty quickly i would say so this is like a little cardigan topper you wear like a blouse and then um, you just kind of wear this over and it ties in front with a ruffle kind of peplum hem and our very last piece of this gigantic haul is a torrid super soft plush v-neck blouse it's 
like a heathered charcoal with a lace up at the shoulder so soft this this thing definitely is it has a plush feel to it so that is absolutely everything this is my my uh, pile is as tall as I am sitting down. That is absolutely everything for this gigantic haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I have been just kind of running through items, putting up a lot of hauls. I'm trying to get caught back up and um, just list like crazy. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, please feel free to hit the like button as well as subscribe to my channel. That would mean a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see y'all soon. Bye y'all.